Hello friends, welcome to Unreal Blueprints video tutorials series. From the past few video tutorials, we are trying to understand flow control nodes in Unreal Blueprints. In this video, I would like to discuss select node in Unreal Blueprints. Select node is also a flow control node. It returns value of the option at specified index. Select node returns value of the option at specified index guys where index can be of type boolean integer or enum whereas option can be of any type guys let's have a demo and understand here i right click and search for select node i click on select you can see we got the select node here index can be of boolean integer or enum an option can be of any type guys now what I want I want to display day name based on the day index I want to display day name based on the selected day index guys where index can be 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 so we know that 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 are integer numbers so I select here integer and then options are going to be sunday monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday they are of type string right so i right click on option change pin type wildcard i say string and here i can define the values of options so i say here sunday then i say monday i can add more pins tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday here i say tuesday then i say wednesday then I say here Thursday, then I say here Friday, and then I say here Saturday. If I select index 0, it returns the value of option 0 that is Sunday. If I select index 5, it returns value of option 5 that is Friday. Right click and say print string. I connect the execution pins, connect data pins. If I say compile save, you can see I have selected index 0. So it returns value of option 0 that is Sunday. Compile, save, come to level 1 and play. You see we got Sunday. I stop it. Now if I change the index to 5, I select index 5. What it does? It returns value of the option 5 that is Friday. Compile, save, come to level 1 and play. You see it has displayed Friday. So what select node does? Select node returns value of option at specified index guys. Now we understood how the select node works, right? Let's have some examples. Okay, let's understand how the select node is being used in the game. Now what I want is I want to switch mesh of an actor based on the selected mesh type. I want to switch mesh of an actor based on the selected mesh type. Okay, here I'm going to create one new folder, call it as blueprints. In the blueprints folder, I'm going to create an actor blueprint class actor I say BP underscore switch mesh S W I T C H switch mesh so this mesh is going to have a static mesh we call this as just mesh and here initially I'm going to select shape cube okay compile save now I can create the instance of it right so I drag and drop as I told I want to change the mesh of this actor okay based on the selected mesh type to store different mesh types i'm going to create enum right click blueprints enumeration i say e underscore mesh type i hit enter i double click to open it i click on add enumerator three times to add three mesh types so cube then i say here sphere then i say here cone and save it now I go to level 1 here I'm going to create a variable called e mesh type which will be of type enum so I search for e underscore mesh type here compile you can see it is displaying cube sphere cone user is going to select the mesh type cube sphere or cone by pressing a key here I search for C keyboard C keyboard if user presses the C key 
we are going to set the mesh type set mesh type to cube okay then if user presses the s key s keyboard okay if user presses the s key we set the mesh type to sphere okay then if user presses the p key if user presses the p key we set the mesh type set mesh type to cone you can see that we are able to set the mesh type now i am going to create here one custom event add custom event add custom event i call this as switch mesh switch mesh okay now we are going to call this switch mesh function after user selects the mesh type so i simply say here switch mesh okay switch mesh switch mesh switch mesh now what are we going to do as i told we are going to take help of the select node here okay right click search for select node and here the index we are going to give the enum i told you index can be of boolean integer or enum so here i select e mesh type and give it here you see that automatically it is showing cube sphere cone right that are the possible values of e mesh type right and then here we can change the type of these options right click change pin type wild card here i am going to search for static mesh here we are object reference static mesh object reference here we can select the different meshes so i am going to select here cube and then i search for the sphere here and i search for the cone we are going to get the reference to this actor right click create reference to bp switch mesh and then i say here set static mesh we are going to set the static mesh we are going to set the static mesh and here what will be the new mesh new mesh will be the return value so very simple guys try to understand how this works if user presses the c key okay if user presses the c key mesh type is set to cube and it calls the switch mesh and mesh type is set to cube so it returns shape underscore cube return value which is going to be the new mesh of this mesh so cube is displayed guys if user presses the s key mesh type is set to sphere it calls the switch mesh as mesh type is set to sphere it returns shape underscore sphere static mesh which is going to be the new mesh if user presses the p key it it, it sets the mesh type to cone and it calls the switch mesh as mesh type is set to cone it returns shape underscore cone static mesh which is going to be the new mesh guys let's compile save come to level 1 and play and test guys okay if i press the p key you can see it is showing cone if i press the s key it is showing the sphere if i press the c key cube s p c s p c right so that is how you will be using the select node in the game guys i hope you guys have clearly understood how the select node works right now i'm going to delete this information from here i delete this i'm going to delete the mesh type from here we don't need that i'm going to delete all this because we are going to have one more example guys okay i close this i close this and delete this actor from here i delete pp switch mesh i delete e mesh type force delete okay now we are in a empty level okay what i want now is i want to generate different number of enemies based on the selected game difficulty level i want to generate different number of enemies based on the selected game difficulty level guys here what i do i am going to create a blueprint class of type actor i call this bp underscore enemy and i double click to open it inside this i am going to add a cube so consider cube is the enemy in our game and i am going to select here material let me select here hex m tech hex style pulse okay this is going to be our enemy in the game okay compile and save and just close it okay and then to store the difficulty level to to, to store the difficulty levels i am going to create a enum 
So I right click here again blueprints and say enumeration. I call this as E underscore difficulty level. Difficulty level I open it and here I add three difficulty levels. One is easy, second one is normal and third one is hard. Okay and save it and close it. Now I open the level blueprint. In the level blueprint, I am going to create a variable called E difficulty level and it will be of type enumeration. So I say here E underscore difficulty level. If I say compile, it shows the possible difficulty levels easy, normal, hard. Now I bring it inside, get difficulty level and then I search for select node. I search for select node and here I am going to give the enum. You see it is showing easy, normal, hard. Here I am going to define number of enemies to spawn, number of enemies to create or number of enemies to generate. So number of enemies 10, 20, 30, 40 is an integer type. So I right click here, change pin type, wildcard, I select integer. If the difficulty level is easy, it should generate 10 enemies. If difficulty level is normal, it should generate let's say 30 enemies. If difficulty level is hard, it should generate let's say 90 enemies. Okay, like that. So if difficulty level is easy, it returns 10. If difficulty level is normal, it returns 30, right? If difficulty level is hard, it returns 90. Very simple. Now, I am going to create one more variable to store number of enemies to spawn. So number of enemies, okay? And it will be of type integer because it is returning the integer value. So I am going to set this number of enemies based on the selected difficulty level. Very simple. If difficulty level is easy, number of enemies is set to 10. If difficulty level is normal, number of enemies is set to 30. If difficulty level is hard, number of enemies is set to 90. Very simple. Now, I am going to take help of the for loop. I am going to take help of the for loop to generate number of enemies. First index I set 1 and the last index will be number of enemies. Number of enemies, right? Then, in the loop body, I am going to say here spawn spawn actor from class. What we want to spawn? We want to spawn bp underscore enemy bp underscore enemy and then i right click on spawn transform split struct pin here we have to define the location rotation and scale i am going to generate at random location so i drag a wire from this and say make vector search for make vector z value i am going to set 50 whereas x and y will be random so i search for random float in range random float in range from minus 3000 to plus 3000 and I'm going to copy this and paste down and I set random y also. So now what happens you can easily say right if difficulty level is easy what will be the number of enemies number of enemies will be 10. So the loop body executes from 1 to 10 10 times so it generates 10 enemies at random location. If difficulty level is set to normal, then what happens? Of course, it returns 30. Number of enemies will be 30. Loop body executes 1 to 30, that is 30 times. So 30 enemies are spawned, guys. Let's see, at present difficulty level is easy. So 10 enemies get spawned. Compile, save, come to level 1 and play. You see that 10 enemies are spawned in the level. Now I go back and change the difficulty level to normal. Now you see 30 enemies get spawned. Compile, save, come to level 1 and play. You see now we have more cubes or more enemies, right? Now if I go back and change the difficulty level to hard. Compile, save, come to level 1 and play. Now you see 90 cubes got spawned here. So that is how you will be using the select node in games, guys. I hope you guys have clearly understood. I suggest you people to try all the three examples experiment if you try you get more clear idea you remember the longer time guys for this video tutorial this much is enough if you like this video hit the like button and share with your friends so that everyone will get benefited for more benefits and be up to date do not forget to subscribe to our youtube channel keep learning keep designing keep sharing thank you guys thank you very much 
see you in the next tutorial